I have been wanting to share with you all a video about um, EcoPods, pan-free EcoPods and minis, and kind of talk about ways that you can use them um, if you don't choose to purchase one of the palettes that we make. Because the idea behind these is that they are as environmentally friendly as we can get them. No plastic, very simple pods of paint that you can put wherever it is that you have a surface to put them. Um, so if you have purchased a palette from a ceramicist, or if you are yourself a ceramicist, you can make your own palette and put the EcoPods in here and really just start painting right away. Uh, this is a palette that my daughter and I use all the time and we get it all wet and the pods stay in place. And so this is a wonderful option. Um, another option for a store-bought palette, palette is something like this. This is a pH spot plate and we use it for really quick colorimetric pH analysis in, in a soils lab, in a chemistry lab. Um, this one's made by Coors, the same company that um, makes the beer. They also have a, a large industrial scientific wing that does a lot with ceramics and scientific equipment. So you could Google pH spot plate and find these for pretty inexpensive. The Coors ones are probably quite a bit more, um, but you can also um, apply the EcoPods or Minis to a hard piece of cardstock, like a really nice piece of paper and paint directly from them. You know, these are the dot cards that we sell. And you can see they're just a little dollop of paint for you to give it a try. Um, one of the things I'm thinking of is maybe doing away with dot cards and replacing them with uh, minis instead. And so these I've attached to the, the card with just a drop of water and you get a full mini. At this point, still offering dot cards. I'm kind of thinking about this. I'd love to hear what you think about moving to minis instead with the idea that you know, you'd receive the information card and then the actual minis in a little cellulose bag and you could do what you want with them. So here's what I would do with minis is I would take some sort of palette. This is another palette that I purchased from a ceramicist online. I can leave a couple links below um, to identify these wonderful makers. And really it's as simple as taking a drop of water and putting it in your palette And these little minis are going to be set in your palette in no time. Um, you don't have to buy a new palette. Uh, you don't have to make a new palette. I mean, I, I did make this little guy um, and set these minis in place with a drop of water. Did this several weeks ago and they're totally in there. These haven't really been painted with. This one I just sort of pressed when it was still wet and it went squish, um, but they're in there. Um, and if you wanna remove them, when you wanna remove them to add more paint, change the colors up, change the locations, um, you could just pop them out with a pretty big pop or um, some water. Uh, you could also use a plate. This is a plate for my cupboard. A little sushi plate and what you can do is take eco pods or minis, whatever, whatever you're working with and set them in place. And you can put a drop of water below or just start immediately painting with them. And they're gonna wiggle into place whether you want them to or not. Yeah, so there you have it. Lots of, lots of options. Oh, I even put this rock here because this is one of my, my favorite rocks. It reminds me of a Matarushka doll. And um, in, in, um, in my family, it's a symbol. I mean, in most families, it's a symbol of the matriarch and all of, I'm, I'm talking about a nesting doll where the dolls fit inside of the other dolls. 
Anyway, found this on our creek bed one time, grabbed it, and you could even put minis or ecopods on a rock. Find a, a river rock, a flat rock um, that either is important to you or isn't important to you, but would function as a palette. Um, really opportunities, options are endless. Um, there's all sorts of wonderful palettes out there for sale. But again, remember, you can go into your cupboard, pull out a plate. Anything that's really not too porous should work just fine. Um, I'd be curious to hear about different surfaces that you all have used or thought of using. Um, I don't want you to have to go out and buy something new if you don't want to using something that you already have, something that you find, something that you repurpose is a wonderful idea. Of course, the pellets we make are beautiful. Please, um, you know, use those if you'd like to, but the idea behind these is that we use the paint, create beautiful artwork, whether it's creating beautiful artwork or just spending time with the paints and swatching, whatever it is that you're doing, um, enriching your life, adding more joy, that's the goal and creating less waste. So uh, shout if you have any questions. Um, I will try to identify the makers of all the palettes that you see here um, in the comments below.